Hello everybody, this is Dee from Quickspy and this is going to be a really quick message. I was just sitting here getting ready to do a video about all the different models of the Epson printers that can be used for sublimation. So if you have yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications and you'll get notified when I come out with this video sometime this week. But that's not why I broke in like this today. Actually, Epson right now is having a pretty big sale on their clearance page and i just wanted to show you how to go over there and get yourself a steeply discounted printer that can be used for sublimation they don't do this all the time but i was just on the page got myself a 7720 wide format printer for under 200 dollars. here's how you can go there and do it yourself guys I just want to show you that you can score sublimation printers well technically not real sublimation printers but printers that are capable of sublimation so here I'm at epson.com in the USA and I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom of the page and I'm going to go to their clearance center now once you're in the clearance center they have featured items but make sure you actually come in here and click the all-in-one printers because that's going to just get rid of everything that doesn't apply so here we can see that we have plenty of options they're just refurbished like look at this this is a wide format printer the 7720 now for this one you do need to buy the cartridges but this printer prints 13 by 19 it's refurbished and they're selling it for two hundred dollars and it's going to ship to your door here is the 4700 refurbished i mean in the stores so this printer goes for like four hundred dollars here it is refurbished for less than the entry-level eco tank this is 189.99 and it will ship to your door um and here is that's a great price for this um, five ink printer it does have a reservoir for two blacks but you would just put black sublimation ink in both this big black reservoir and the small black reservoir the same ink don't get fancy with different brands just make sure each of them is filled with black ink and then of course your blue yellow magenta are in the other one and this is also a great deal so we have converted many refurbished epson printers to sublimation printers they work just fine uh, remember like none of these are sublimation printers so you don't get the warranty anyway why not save yourself a couple hundred dollars and get a refurbished unit we do it all the time in fact i think i'm going to add this to my cart right now and if you already have a sublimation printer that is great this is a great opportunity to pick up a sublimation printer that you can use like for neon sublimation ink or just to have an option something maybe smaller something that is more travel friendly for shows and of course just to have yourself a backup sublimation printer because you know murphy's law murphy's law is that something goes wrong during the hottest season of the year epson.com clearance site is a great place to pick up a very steeply discounted printer that you can have as a backup all right guys i hope you found that helpful i hope if you've been like on the fence about whether or not to to get a printer for sublimation consider a refurbished unit i have had great success converting many refurbished units it shouldn't be all that different it's you know sometimes there's a little bit of ink left residual but it has never mattered it has never given me a problem with the quality of print all right if you got to the epson website and you missed it maybe you're watching this video far into the future make sure you take the time now hit subscribe turn on notifications because I'll tell you where i'm finding the deals all right until our next video which is going to be all about these different models happy sublimating everyone bye